Let me just say, just make this sharp distinction. Monergism is trash. Utter trash. Uh, why? Because monergism implies that God determines your sin, which is blasphemy and perverse. And um, if you believe the atonement is for all people and that Jesus died for all, and that that's actually actuated and applied through faith, which is a volitional decision, because everybody knows in their heart that they made a volitional decision, okay? And then when you decide to follow Christ, you're justified in him. That's why the Bible's replete with over and over and over and over saying you have to do something. That is synergism. And praise God, that's the truth. Monergism is utter trash. Limited atonement, disgusting trash. And if that's true, synergism is true. Because you have to do something. Sorry. And by the way, saying I didn't do anything, I'm just choice meats by birth, you know, is, is a kind of backdoor uh, denial of righteousness and justification by faith. Because you don't really believe it's by faith. You're just a, you're just a pea zombie that God controls, makes believe. You're made to believe. You have to, can do irresistible grace. Um, so, either become a Calvinist and believe utter blasphemy about God's character and that God, de God determines sin and you couldn't do otherwise and he hates you for it and you're born a, a monster and God punishes you for the guilt of something you didn't do. And then also he's going to punish you for what he determined you to have to do. But you want to do it, so it's okay. But you were born condemned before you did anything good or bad. But it's not arbitrary. You guys are, you guys are amazing. Ama it's a pious fraud. You're, that whole idea is a pious fraud. I didn't, I didn't even want to believe. Wow, then you're garbage. You don't even, you don't even have to persuade people. In fact, if you didn't even uh, evangelize, it wouldn't even really matter, would it? Limited atonement is trash.